Hello guys, Splicer here. This is just a quick video on how the cartel is going to work in Ghost Recon Wildlands. Now, the way they've approached this game is that you can do whatever mission you want and attack whoever you want at any time. Whereas, people are then thinking, fine, I'll just go then for the main boss and take him out as soon as the game starts and then I'm going to complete the game. However, they've introduced a system which forces you to take bosses out in a particular-ish order. So the way they've done this is they split the bosses and the cartel down into four different sections. So you've got security, smuggling, influence and production. And within each one of those sections you then got underbosses um, and heads of production or influence, security, smuggling. So you've got heads of the departments and then the underbosses and then all the different bosses that come out of that. So for you to gain access to the underboss you then have to take out a, spe a specific amount of bosses within that group, so let's say security, like you've got here, to allow you to take on that boss. Once that is done and you've taken out every single boss within that area, you can then take on the head of whatever area that is. So like we say with security, you can get to the head of security once all of the security bosses have been taken out. And that's the same for all four of the different sections. So rather than go in for random bosses all over the map, it then forces you into specific areas that you'll have to focus your attention on to then get yourselves to the heads of whichever faction you want to go for. Once you've taken out all of, all of the bosses and all of the heads of the security, it will then open you up to what is called the boss of bosses, which is then going to be obviously the final boss. It's a good way that Ubisoft have done this to stop people from just going for the main bosses overpowering it with highly tactical groups and co-op and then taking out the big bosses from the beginning. It does sort of focus your gameplay without forcing you to go down that specific line. So the way they're going to be working it is that the lesser known bosses are going to give you your weapon skins and a small amount of skill points and supplies and then once you've got that and you can access the underboss they're going to give you massive amount of skill points and massive amount of supplies and then the same goes for the heads of those different factions. So I am rolling through this quite quickly, it's just so you guys have got an idea of how the bosses are going to be laid out and how you can then tackle the cartel once the game comes out. Obviously you can see here which weapon skin you're going to get for which boss, so just pause the video at what one you want to see so then you can see what weapon you're going to get for each individual boss. And then with all the bosses leading to the boss of all bosses which will give you 10 skill points and then the legendary weapon of the Silencio. I think that's how you say it, which like I discussed in my legendary weapons video, it gives you a maximum bar of noise reduction, so nobody's going to hear you come in when you're firing that thing. So that's what it was, quick one to show you how it's set out, how to tackle it, and to set you up for launch of the game on the 7th of March. So please subscribe to my channel guys, I'm always going to be bringing out new videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.